Hey there fellow wizarding students, wands at the ready. Welcome to this new Hogwarts Legacy video and today I've got some juicy tips and tricks that will help you kick butt in magical combat and reveal some secrets about your opponents that will give you a significant leg up in battle. And last but not least we'll take a look at a spell combination that will let you one shot everything in the game even on the highest difficulty setting. So let's dive into the secrets of the wizarding world. If you enjoy this video, as always, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more magical content. Hit that bell notification too, so you don't miss a single video. Now before we get into the nitty gritty, here's a little cheat code style information for you. If you're having a tough time with the game and can't seem to get past a particular battle, go to your settings and switch the game difficulty to story mode. You'll basically activate God mode and become completely invincible just like me here on screen. See, my health bar is already at zero, but I'm still standing and taking those magical attacks or those melee attacks from the Inferi like it's nothing. I just cannot die. Plus, attacking enemies are slower than a snail, so you'll have all the time in the world to react. The game will even display which button to press for blocking or dodging those unblockable attacks. And on top of that, enemy shields are nothing but fancy decorations, as you can shoot straight through them with your regular spell. No need to worry about colors or anything like that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. But let's not cheat our way through the game. We're here because we want to level up our combat skills, don't we? So let me share some tips that'll make your fights way more effective and also much more fun. The best part, you can access most of these tips in-game yourself at any time. They're literally at your fingertips. Just go to your collection and select any enemy type you want to learn more about and check the information provided on the right side. There are hints on what to do to do a ton of damage. For instance, with Dugbox, when they lunge at you with their unblockable attack, you can dodge it and follow up with a kinetic spell, the purple ones, to knock them on their backs and making them vulnerable for your follow-up attacks, turning them into crits. The damage numbers will turn yellow, indicating that you're dealing extra damage. Sweet, right? Here's another very good counter for Dugbox. When they stick out their tongues to attack you, you can use Levioso to magically grab their tongues and pull them up into the air, leaving them open to your spells. And the same goes for many other enemies like, for example, the pesky loyalist rangers that shoot at you from afar. As soon as they ready their crossbows and put on a crossbow bolt, there will be an R1 prompt over their heads. You can then just snatch their crossbow bolts right off their hands with R1 and throw them back at either themselves or any other enemy. As for the giant spiders, for example, when they lift their front legs and prepare to strike with an unblockable move, you can use Descendo to smack their heads into the ground, dealing massive damage, almost killing them with only one spell. Trolls can be very annoying in battles, especially with many other enemies around, but they have some wonderful counter options too. If you keep your distance, they'll pick up a giant boulder and throw it at you. You can ward it off with Protego, then grab the rock midair with R1 and hurl it back at the trolls, forcing them to kneel and opening them up for critical counter attacks. Another great way to counter them when they attack you with their bat is to use Flipendo to throw their own club back into their face when they strike the ground. This will daze them and leave them open for even more critical damage. One of my absolute favorite counters is when facing the Ashwinder Executioners, you can use Expelliarmus to disarm them while they are conjuring their fire or lightning spells. This will direct the otherwise devastating attack right back at them, just instantly killing them with this single spell. That's super effective. But you can also extend their attacks with a Resto Momentum, leaving the Flame Column or the Thunder Strikes in place for a while. This gives you the opportunity to lift other enemies with Levioso and toss them into the area of effect with the Pulso for another instant kill. So as you can see, there are plenty of ways to not only block or dodge your enemies' attacks, 
but also turn them to your advantage, dealing massive extra damage to your foes and everyone around them. Way better than dodge rolling all the time and using all sorts of spells, but not being half as effective as you could be when using all the right methods to counter your foes. So don't hesitate to check out your collections and gather some more information about your enemies. And at the start of the video I promised you a one-shot build. With a bit of preparation you can easily one-shot 5, 6 or even more enemies at once. To achieve this you'll need certain spells. I use Expelliarmus, also Flippendo is very useful, Imperio, the spell to puppeteer your enemies, should be at the ready and last but not least the transformation spell is also very important for that build. But the spells alone won't do the trick, you'll also need specific talents. So let's have a look at your talent menu. You should definitely pick Transformation Mastery, which allows you to transform enemies into explosive barrels. You should also pick the talents Knockback Curse and Disarming Curse, which allow you to curse enemies with Flippendo and Expelliarmus respectively. Then we have Imperial Mastery, which allows you to control enemies and have them curse other foes with their attacks. So every time they are under your spell and attack other enemies, they get cursed too, marking them with the green X. Enduring Curse makes the cursed status last longer on enemies and gives you the opportunity to curse more enemies simultaneously, while Blood Curse allows you to deal damage to one foe and all other cursed enemies at once. This is a crucial talent as it ensures that enemies perish with a single spell. But let's demonstrate the build in action during battle. First you'll have to curse as many enemies as possible, so we use Imperio, making them shoot and curse each other. Then I'll just use Flippendo and Expelliarmus to curse additional foes and leave them marked with the green axe. Once all or most of them are cursed, transform one into an explosive barrel and throw it somewhere. This will of course kill the one enemy and cause all cursed enemies to take damage and will instantly kill them too. Another great way to use the build is to use Crucio the Torturing Curse. But for this to work you will have to unlock the talent Crucio Mastery in the Dark Arts category. If you curse an enemy with Crucio, all your follow up attacks will bounce off it, cursing other enemies left and right. So the best way is to Crucio an enemy with a big health bar and curse everyone in the room. That's the perfect way to set up the one shot kill combination. But that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned some useful tips on the way. If you did, as always a like would really help me out and would be greatly appreciated. And for more useful tips and tricks, check out my latest video right here on screen. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you in the next one.